This is code.org. Let's see what we're working on. The counter pattern is my var equals my var plus one. Yeah, and here's how the computer would read that, guys. It's going to say, oh, this variable my var is now going to be equal to whatever my var used to be equal to. So if it was equal to seven right here, and then we got down here, it'd say, okay, my var's new value is what? Oh, the old value for my var, so seven plus one. Okay, so that's eight. So now my var is equal to eight. That's the counter pattern. When we grab a variable and we're reusing it and adding to it, the expression on the right, my var plus one is evaluated first. So yeah, it's calculated first. The new value is then assigned to my var. Yep, exactly. So my var plus one, the old value plus one is now boom, what my var equals. This pattern lets a variable count by whatever amount is added. Run the program to see what it does. Make sure to click both buttons, write code to make plus 20 button work. The comment shows you where. All right, let's hit run. Oh, click a button. Five. Ooh, sound effects. Ten. Oh, I'm becoming wealthy. Twenty. Now let's see. Can we add twenty? No, but the sound works. Sorry. Anyway. Um. Okay. So we need that button working. Let's go look for our comments. Add code here to make the plus twenty work. Well, let's see how they make the five work. So on the event that the add five button's clicked, let me hover over. Yep, that's the ID. Add five is clicked. Dollars, what's dollars? Oh yeah, it's right here. Variable dollars is equal to zero. Dollars is equal to the old value of dollars plus five. And again, what this does is every time we click it, it says, okay, at first dollars is equal to zero. So the very first time I click five, there we go. The very first time I click it, it says, oh, okay, dollars is zero. So it hits this part of the code and it says, okay, the new values of dollars is going to be, oh, the old value. So zero plus five. Okay, so that's five. So now dollars is equal to five and it runs the rest of the code. Then I click it again and it says, oh, okay, I need to, okay, dollars is equal to the old value of five. Well, it was just equal to five. So five plus five is 10. Boom. Now dollars is equal to 10. So on and so forth. So we want to do that down here. We don't need var, right? We're not redeclaring it. You only use var once to create the variable, but we do need the equals. And let me get rid of this thingy. And now what do I need for this? Well, I need dollars to be equal to dollars plus 10. Nope, I'm lying, plus 20. I could have just gone and grabbed the plus sign as well. That would work. So now when I click add 20, hopefully, add five, fancy song, add 20. Uh-oh, what's missing? Oh, well, we don't have it all. We have the sound here. Well, there's the sound. What do they have? They grab the dollar label, which is that thing, and they say make it equal to the dollar sign plus whatever dollars is equal to. Because this is concatenating. You're not actually adding an amount here. You're grabbing the dollar sign, slapping the value for dollar next to it, and pushing it out to the add labels, or to the dollar label. All right, so we're going to set the property of the dollar's label, what property, the text property, to whatever dollars is equal to, plus the addition, uh, plus the dollar sign. So now I need a set property right here like they have it, and dollar's label, and then text. And just like they have it, this time I'll go grab a plus because it will work the same way as just writing it, right? What do I want it to be equal to? Well, I need the dollar sign in quotes and then dollars. Dollars isn't in quotes because I want it to use the number that dollars is, right? It's a variable. If I put dollars in quotes, it would just print the word dollars instead of grabbing whatever number it is equal to. Let's try. Boom, 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 boom. We are victorious in our free money app. But uh awesome. Onward.